everybody, what's going on? So today, in today's video, one of the ATW family members left me a message. They wanted to get my opinion on something, so I figure I would make a video about it. So one of the ATW family members, Javid, asked the following question. He says, hello, today I watched a story and it was about the importance of accent. Um, it said because you want to, or when a person wants to listen to podcasts or some English videos that when natives speak, then they might speak a little fast with accent. And if you don't work on learning different accents, you might not understand them. What? is your opinion about that? All right, so it's an interesting question. What is my opinion on learning different accents? I think learning different accents are extremely important. And what I need to do is, is I need to define what I mean by accent and then delve into your question a little bit more because I think at least from my perspective, when you say learning accents, let's talk about that. For me, accent, when speaking English, or accent as a whole, is the distinctive way in which a person speaks a language, in this case, English. And one accent is defined by many different variables, such as culture, such as where a person lives, such as socioeconomic level. So accent is the distinctive way in which a person speaks English. And just like whatever your native language is, you have different accents, English is no different. I am from the United States of America, I, most of my life, I grew up in the state of New Jersey, so I have a northern New Jersey accent. But in the U.S., you will hear different accents, different dialects across the country. So, accents are important, okay, and there are different accents. One of the things that I think happens sometimes as a person learns English wherever they are and wherever they are in their English journey, a lot of times it's been my experience or my opinion that people confuse accent with pronunciation, which is how you pronounce or say words in the English language. And sometimes, whether it's by design or miseducation, lack of information, or by a particular narrative, oftentimes I think what happens is a couple of things. One, like I said before, learners confuse accent with respect to pronunciation. And number two is, is that when they think of accent, typically they're thinking of a native speaking accent. And that, from my perspective, having a native speaking accent is something that is optional. It is not mandatory. So for those of you out there that want to have a native speaking accent, figure out what particular accent that you want to have. I would suggest to you though, before you focus on accent, look at videos that I did previously, uh, in case you don't know, what I think is important that before you focus on your accent, focus on your fluency, which includes, but is not limited to, clarity, pronunciation, enunciation, intonation, and belief and motivation in yourself. Oftentimes, in my opinion, what happens is, is that for me, fluency, if you think of English as a cake, I did a video on this, fluency is the foundation. Have the foundation of English correct before you work on your accent. And sometimes I think what happens is, is that people, whether consciously or by design, they are conflating and misunderstanding. They think that, oh my God, I have to speak like a native. I have to have native accent to be accepted. Or 
possibly to be posh or to possibly, you know, have a certain social pecking order, right? So that's why I say that. Now, with respect to your question, Javin, when you said, is it important to learn different accents? Yes, I think it is. And I've never, in the course of me doing videos, I've never said that it is not. Learning different accents are important. Why? Because English is a global international language. I believe it's important to learn different accents around the world different accents when you hear people speaking English. But oftentimes I think what happens is, is that people, when they're saying that they want to listen and learn different accents, they are only relating to one particular accent, one particular region. And typically those accents that people want to learn are only relating to a native English speaking country, such as the United States or Britain. And so what I want people to think about is the following. At least this is what I think about. If we say that English, and it's not even what we say, it is a truth. English is a global international language and there are different accents in the world. And yet what happens is that typically a native speaking accent is perpetuated and considered within the industry and also by, in my opinion, the majority of learners to be the standard, the gold standard and any other accent not relating to a native speaking accent is something that is less than. So when you say, is it important to learn different accents? Yes. But one of the things that I would challenge you and challenge the rest of people listening to this video is the following. Question number one, when people say learn different accents, are they thinking about, as an example, Filipino accent when speaking English, Nigerian accent when speaking English, Saudi accent when speaking English, French accent when speaking English? Singapore accent when speaking English? For example, Singapore or Barbados, what's the, what's the native language in those respective countries? English. But do most people think that, oh, when they're learning different accents of the world, are they relating or do they want to learn accents not relating to the United States, South Africa, Ireland, New Zealand, Canada, and Australia? So yes, Learning different accents are important whether or not you're listening to a podcast, a television series, whether you're watching movies or even traveling in the world because English is again a global international language. But I would suspect and I think based on people that I speak with, based on content that I watch, here's something to think about. Javid and others listening to this video. If accents are important, is most content, what's the content that you mostly hear when we're talking about accents to learn? British accent, American accent, nothing the matter with that. But yet, do you, Javid and others, feel and believe and think as though that it's important to hear different accents of the world? Because I'm going to be honest, I've heard people say, perhaps it's not you, oh, I don't like that particular accent. I don't like that particular accent. So why is that? Do people say, for example, don't like particular accents because maybe they're not used to it or Maybe it's such where it's like, oh my God, it's not native. I mean, Javid and others, have you ever heard anyone say, oh, I don't like when that person from that country speaks. They should speak like an American. Or am I the only one hearing that? Maybe I am. So at the end of the day, what am I saying, Javid and others? Is it important to learn different accents? I believe it is. And you have the opportunity, if you want, if you challenge yourself, if you think critically, to at least 
give yourself an opportunity or think about hearing and learning different accents that only do not relate to native English speaking countries. If you are the type of person that subscribes to having English as one particular sound and one particular accent, no problem. But for me, accent shows the diversity, it shows the beauty of the English language. And one last thing, the only way I believe that if you want to learn different accents and or if you want accents to be shown in its full glory and diversity is when you learners, people of English, believe that it's important. But if most of you, respectfully, if most of you are trained or conditioned to believe that something is a matter with your accent because you're not a native English speaker and you will pay, which is your right, you will pay money to change your accent or fix your accent or you will only watch content providers that come from native English speaking countries, then the diversity of the accents of the English language represented in the world might not necessarily come into maturity or fruition. But that, at the end of the day, is up to you. So, for me, yes, accents, learning different accents are important to me. They're the distinctive way in which a person speaks. I believe that they're important. I don't believe, for the record, in case you don't know or somebody's watching me for the first time, I don't believe it is important or necessary to have a native accent. It is optional, as I said before. Focus, at least I like to focus on clarity and pronunciation because if I'm not clear, if I don't pronounce the words correctly or so someone can understand me, it doesn't matter what particular accent that I have. So uh, that's my opinion, Javid. I hope it makes sense. Let me know what you and what others think in the comments section. This is Teacher Will. Thank you for listening to the video. And if you're new, welcome to the place, hopefully, where you and I learn together. Accents, the distinctive way in which you speak, shaped by many different factors. But at the end of the day, here's what I want you to remember. When you're speaking English, when you're learning English, do yourself a favor. Be proud of who you are because you're learning English. And when people might sometimes make fun of you because of your accent, because you don't sound the way that they think that you should sound, do yourself a favor and pay them no mind. Or you could really even say, oh, wait a minute, uh, put them in their place. Because ultimately, for me, I think personally, this accent discrimination, oh, did I say that? Accent discrimination? This accent discrimination with respect to like sounding like a native and having a native accent for me needs to go away. Preference is one thing. Prejudice with respect to one's accent is another. Until next time.